Hello, today we are at the Florence School of Regulation for the Regulatory Policy Workshop Series. And here we have with us Alberto Potochnik. Hello, Alberto. Hello, Pat. Uh, what are the key goals of this workshop that we are having today? Yes, today we're here in a sunny October day to take stock of the experience um, that we are having uh, with the implementation of congestion management procedures, uh, both in electricity and gas. Um, the uh, capacity location congestion management guidelines for electricity came into force just over a year ago. The capacity location mechanisms uh, guidelines, um, they came into force uh, roughly a year ago. We have congestion management procedures um, in force now for three years. The idea is to see where we are. The idea to see is which uh, impact they had, whether they serve the purpose that were intended to serve, and what are the remaining challenges or the remaining actions that are needed to make sure that uh, we achieve what we set out to do and uh, that we, so that we can deliver real benefit to European gas and electricity consumers. In the context of the EU's push towards uh, energy market that's integrated, uh, what, what in your opinion are the main barriers towards cross-border trade? Well, I mean, there is, there is still work to be done. Um, in electricity, at the moment, we see capacity disappearing. Uh, we see, uh, with the greater penetration of uh, renewables, with the greater variability of renewables in the market, and therefore the need for TSOs to become more prudent in the way in which they define capacity and make capacity available to the market, we see that a smaller and smaller share of the existing physical capacity is actually made available for trading. And that's obviously a concern because while we are improving the way in which this capacity is, is used and we estimate that um, this has delivered around a billion uh, euro per year to European consumers, we see uh, prices, price conversions now going backward and we see less and less as I said, capacity being available. So that's, at the moment, I think is, 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 is a big challenge. I don't know whether it's the only one, but it's definitely uh, a big challenge. In gas, I believe, is uh, really to try to push and having the, um, uh, the, 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 the current rules properly implemented across Europe. Some markets are functioning well, but uh, there are areas, regions uh, in Europe where we still do uh, quite a lot of work on the ground to make this happen. And finally, how much is there to learn between gas and electricity? Um, gas and electricity are obviously different. Um, in a previous workshop, we looked more specifically at whether, for example, market coupling that has now become basically the name of the day for electricity could have an equivalent in gas. And we came to the conclusion that no electricity and gas are sufficiently different that there is no equivalent concept. But obviously, we should be looking beyond the technicalities. And I think clearly uh, there are common objectives. For example, to have market-based uh, capacity location and congestion management procedure. That's obviously common for, for both electricity and gas. Um, and, and then to try to promote competition for the benefit of consumers. So there are aspects where we can have a, a common approach and we can learn. But I think when it comes to technicality, I think it's more in the, term, in, in, in the sense of principles and criteria rather than specific procedures. Because I think we've come to realize that despite the fact that um, the provisions in the directives, for example, in the third package, the gas and electricity directives, they're very specular. Um, when it comes to their applic specific applications, I think the, the, the two sectors are quite different. And if you look at the network code and guidelines, you realize that, as I said, beyond the general principles of market-based non-discrimination, transparency, etc., the technical implementation is quite different. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Brad.